Good morning, Nigerians. Good morning to all men and women CEOs that subscribed to UAAG grants of Apostle Dr. Ken Owakama. I say good morning to all Bondu Eds and the subscribers of UAAG grants that have been eagerly waiting for the disbursement of these grants. Today being the 21st day of June, 2024, I come your way again to give you updates of how far we have gone in our demand. I am Temitokwe Eluyemi Balogun. I want to inform you this morning that the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights, CDHR, FCT Abuja Branch, have written a letter of invitation to invite Apostle Dr. Ken Nwakama to meet them and us at their Abuja office on the 24th day of this month. I want to tell you that the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights a non-governmental mass-based organization. They stand for justice and fight for freedom to hold with zero tolerance to impunity, oppression, fraudulent practices, and dishonesty of any kind. They have received our letter written to Lagos Browns now landed in a city Abuja and they have informed Apostle Dr. Ken Nwakama and a letter has been written given to him for him to come and defend himself of the allegation we level against him. You could remember that on behalf of all the subscribers of this UAAG grant, we demanded from Apostle Dr. Koen Nwakama to tell us the reason why we have not received these grants. And uh, is to show us the documents that show he is the original mandate of the grant we are expecting, UAAG grants. We also want him to tell us to our face that he did not collect a dime from all CEOs, including myself, which the interview which he granted the national television, where he said he did not collect a dime from us after we have paid in billions of Naira. We are also asking the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights to assist us to get the list of all these NGOs and cooperatives that Apostle Dr. Ke Umakama shared the grants to. Every other thing written he already aware of it as I am speaking. And so I want you to know, like I told you, that we are helpless. 
we do not have anybody. And because they have set our names out that they should kill us with all our family. Now, the authority is aware of that, but the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights have read our petition and they do not want it to be as if they hear from us alone. Therefore, I want you to know that on the 24th day of this month, which is next week Monday, Apostle Dr. Ken Uwakama, the country director of Alliance, United Alliance for, Grant, for African Grants, United Alliance for African Grants, UAAG, will be coming with all the necessary documents and proof of UAAG grants. Please, I do not want you to come except you get information from me again. If there is any need for members, for CEOs, for Bondu heirs, few of you to come down, I will send out another voice note. But as I'm speaking with you, let it be official because the reason why we we went to Committee for the Defense of Human Rights is for them to be able to help us so that the the economic the EFCC Economic and Financial Crime Commission EFCC will be able to intervene. I know Committee for the Defense of Human Rights. I know what they are capable of doing. I am glad they have accepted our petition. And I want you to know they did not wait. They have already done the necessary things so that Apostle Dr. Ken Onwakama will come to their office. And I want you to tell I want to tell you, don't be afraid. We are not fighting Apostle Dr. Ken Onwakama. We only need the proof of all what he said. We only need the proof of the UAAG grants. We want to know why he said he did not collect any money from us. And we want also to know who and who the NGOs and the cooperatives he has shared the money with. These are all what we needed, and which we know through the help of Committee for the Defense of Human Rights, Abuja branch, we will get all this information. So my brethren, my brothers, my fathers, my uncles, my mothers, relax we are getting to the root of all the grants that we have come across in nigeria let us start with the one that the candle is burning our our fingers seriously first other grant handlers should start packaging their documents but of the uaag grants i am glad to inform you that we will get to the root of this this month june 2024. i am temi tokpe iluyemi balogun i want to say congratulations to all of you because we will know the truth and the truth will set us free i want to appreciate everybody that have been praying along i want to thank all the leaders all my families i want to thank every one of you i want to appreciate all of you that in my platform 
that you have been showing solidarity. And I want you to know that the only thing we need is the truth. So if Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama could not provide all that we demand for, of course, you know the next step. And I'm sure as a professor, as a doctor, as an ambassador, he knows the next step. So therefore, I want every one of you to be getting ready. There might be need for you to come over to Abuja if Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama needed to, uh, to talk, to standard the documents and every necessary things openly, because that is what we need. We need the proof. We need the truth. So every one of you, just be prepared. And I want you to know that coming to Abuja is not for protest. Coming to Abuja is not for any other thing, but we want the world to see us. We want our government to know how we have suffered in the hand of all these people called grant handlers. We want the world to see what we are facing in Nigeria. If truly any donor give any donor give them grants to distribute to us. And we want our government to know that we are aware of all the grants that came to Nigeria. If truly there is grants that enter Nigeria. So if there is grants, will we we will gather in front of our government houses here in Abuja so that we can beg them. We can appeal to them so they can release the, the grant to us. The economic is not friendly now. The situation in Nigeria is very, very tense. And if they can release any of these grants, I am sure we will all appreciate them. Now that Apostle Dr. Ken Iwakaman has been invited by Committee for the Defense of Human Rights, FCT Abuja Branch, I want every one of you to know no retreat, no surrender. We need justice. We need truth. And I'm assuring you that the truth shall set us free. Devon, I want to tell you this morning there are many of these people that we have gotten a lot of videos and information about them uh, that work with Apostle Dr. Ken Unwakama. Please to make this work fast because they, some of them saw the documents, some of them are aware of the money when the money entered the bank. So please kindly send the remaining proof of payments that you might have paid to any of them for the government NGOs and anyone that you might have paid in the past. And I want to urge those of you that are afraid. Which of these things are you afraid of? You are afraid so that they will not remove your name? You are afraid I don't know. I don't know which one you are afraid of. If truly you are a CEO and you registered and verified, I don't know what is bad in you knowing the truth. I don't know what you, uh, error you have committed Why you demand for the truth. Even with or without you, we have already started. And we are not going back. So I'm just telling you, in your own interest, to follow us in this cause. Because nothing can stop us again. Already is now in the hand of government, is in the hand of human rights, is in the hand of the notable people in Nigeria. They need to hear us. They need to demand for the proof of UAAG grants. So 
as helpless as we are, God rise and send a pass to us. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. We will get there. We are there already. God bless you all.